kicking and rumbling is going to come out very loud. You can just edit afterwards and then do a soundtrack and yeah. speed it up so it's like that. Yeah, and then put house music or something over it. Well, there's, I think that there's lots of kind of open source music, isn't there? It's open license, so you can. Uh, yeah. Or even Sue's taking an interest. Yeah. <laughs> and usually what I do is I leave these to stiffen up a bit, but I think this is a relatively small one. I'll do it straight away. Oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sign track. It's yeah. Sign track. Oh. Got any large stones? That it might be quite nice to flop on over a, a stone or something. Yeah, that'd be. Put feet on it. Mm. I made soap dishes like that. Does need to harden up a bit, doesn't oh, it? That's an interesting thought. Put three little feet on. The problem was that they tend to kind of scratch against the sink. You need some kind of mm. rubber feet on it or something. Mm -hmm. And Paul Stubbs did to suggest something, but I haven't tried it yet. Nice. Kind of paint on latex. Mm. Feet. Oh, okay. Let's mm. the principles. And then again, they're very nice when the wood ash goes across it well, yeah. and collects in that. So it's just uh, a couple of. Yeah. Okay. What do you cut off with? This wire thing here. This wire, which is made from a bowed and. Oh, so that's the same wire. Yeah, right, it's yeah. the same yeah. wire. Yeah. 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 And sometimes I'll do them, leave them the same way up so that that's on the outside, and actually uh -huh. I'll fire them upside down. They're glazed inside. Uh -huh. And the wood ash then collects on the outside if they're in there. Mm -hmm. Things like the ash and fine. 